In this video, I'm going to be covering Hohmann's sign, which in theory is a special test that can be used to rule up deep vein thromboses or DVTs. Recall these are blood clots that form in the large veins of the lower body, and if those blood clots break loose, they could be fatal in the sense that they can cause a pulmonary embolism. I want to preface this video by saying that this is a stupid special test and you should never use it. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll understand why. The reason I cover it is because it's covered on the NPTE. So you do need to be aware of this special test. To assess for Hohmann's sign, the patient's going to be positioned in supine, like you see here, and the PT is going to passively elevate the patient's affected lower extremity to about 10 to 20 degrees off the table with their knee fully extended. So just like this. Now, while squeezing the proximal calf muscle, the PT is going to apply an abrupt dorsiflexion and monitor for pain and tenderness in the patient's proximal calf or popliteal space, which is the most likely site for a DVT to form. So approximately right here. So I'm going to squeeze the patient's proximal calf and then apply a quick rapid dorsiflexion like you see right there. And a positive test would be pain provocation in the patient's proximal calf or a popliteal space. And again, in conjunction with other signs of a DVT like redness, swelling compared to the other side, that would indicate the presence of a deep vein thrombosis. Now, again, I mentioned that this special test is covered on the NPTE, but it is never used in clinical practice. And the reason why is because, first of all, if you just squeeze the area where the DVT likely is, you can dislodge the DVT and send it distal to proximal towards the heart, and eventually it'll end up in the lungs triggering a pulmonary embolism. In addition to the calf squeeze, you also have this dorsiflexion. Recall that dorsiflexion is the closed pack position of the ankle joint. So if you close pack that part of the joint, you actually slightly increase the fluid pressure distally. So now you have higher pressure distally than you do proximally. That creates a gradient that can further drive the DVT off of the blood vessel wall and send it toward the lungs, triggering a pulmonary embolism. So the bottom line is, you would never use this special test to assess for a DVT unless you want a potential lawsuit on your hands due to the pulmonary embolism that might occur. However, there is a way to assess for a DVT within the physical therapy clinic, and it's using the Wells criteria. And there's a Wells criteria for the DVTs and a Wells criteria for the pulmonary embolisms. And I cover those in separate videos, and I'll make sure to put links to those videos in the description of this one. So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding about how to perform home and sign even though you're never going to do it. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff. 